Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn how to subtract two four-digit numbers and we're going to do this using the vertical format. Now we're simply applying the principles we've learned in the last few tutorials. Let's have a look at our first example. What is 5,000 Three hundred and forty seven minus three thousand one hundred and sixty nine. Let's put a nice big equal sign over here. Now let's label the columns. We've got units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. We are now ready to do the subtraction. Starting on the right hand side, we've got 7 minus 9. 7 minus 9. Now 7 minus 9 is something we cannot do because 7 is smaller than 9. Therefore, we're going to take 1 from the tens on its left. So let's cross out the 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. The 1 we have taken from there, we're going to add it to the units column. Therefore, the units has now become 17 minus 9. 17 minus 9 is... 8. Let's write this down. Okay, now we're going to do the tens. For the tens, we've got 3 minus 6. 3 minus 6 is, well again, we cannot do this because 3 is smaller than 6. So we're going to take 1 from the hundreds column. So let's cross out the 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. And the one we have taken from here, we're going to add it to the column on the right, the tens column. Therefore, the tens has now become 13 minus 6. 13 minus 6 is 7. So we can write that down, 7. Now we're going to do the hundreds column, which is 2 minus 1. Well, that's nice and easy. It is 1. And lastly, we've got the thousands column. We have 5 minus 3. The answer is 2. Therefore, 5,347 minus 3,169 is 2,178. OK, let's look at one more example. This time we have 7,432 minus 2,687. Now again, I'm going to label the columns. We've got units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. We are now ready to do the subtraction. So starting on the right-hand side, we've got 2 minus 7. Now 2 minus 7 is something we cannot do, because 2 is smaller than 7. Now I just want to point something out here. All the workings out I'm showing below the question, that's something over a period of time you'll be able to do simply in your head. I'm just showing all the workings. And it's good practice initially to do this. OK, back to the question. We're going to take 1 from the tens column. So let's cross out the 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. And the 1 we have taken from here, we're going to add it to the units column. So the units has now become 12 minus 7. 12 minus 7 is 5. So let's write that down. That's the units column done. Now on to the tens column. We have... 2 minus 8. 2 minus 8. Now again, 2 is smaller than 8, so we cannot do this. <coughs> what we're going to do is to take 1 from the hundreds column on its left. So let's cross out the 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. And the 1 we have taken from here, we're going to add it to the tens column. So the tens has now become 12 minus 8. 12 minus 8. 
12 minus 8 is 4. So that's the tens done, 4. OK, we're now on to the hundreds. And for the hundreds we have 3 minus 6. Now again, 3 is smaller than 6, so we cannot do this. What we're going to do is we're going to take 1 from the thousands on its left, the 7. So let's cross out the 7. 7 minus 1 is 6. And the 1 we have taken from here, we're going to add it to the hundreds column. So therefore the hundreds has now become 13 minus 6. 13 minus 6. The answer is 7. So let's write that down. And lastly, we've got the thousands column. Thousands, we have 6 minus 2. That's nice and easy. 6 minus 2 is 4. And that is our answer. 4,745. And it really is quite simple. Just follow the same principles all the way through. So that is subtraction of two four-digit numbers using the vertical format.